we made sure that the routes we were doing were, were going to be as wild as possible and, and not the kind of thing you could do either in your car or on a bike. The fact that we're running on elephant trails that have been etched into the rock, the fact that we're able to go and to see bushland paintings that the public don't go to. And it's only by being here and only by smelling it and feeling it and touching it can you really, really experience this 360 degree uh, environment that we're surrounded by. The Mapaguba Transfrontier Wild Run is a, a very exciting new cross-border tourism event that is held in the Greater Mapaguba Transfrontier Conservation Area. Over three days, participants run approximately 30 kilometers a day. The first day through Zimbabwe, the second heading towards the Northern Tuli Game Reserve in Botswana, and the third in the Mapaguba National Park in, in South Africa. Okay, we're standing at the confluence of the Limpopo and Shashi rivers. So we're surrounded by Botswana, Zimbabwe and South Africa. We can see all three of those countries at the same time. Very special spot, deep in the wilderness. Here we are running. This place is just so rich in every aspect, geologically, historically, culturally. It just, uh, just embodies Africa. It's a magic, magic place. While we've been running, we've also been having a history lessons about the area, and uh, so it's been you know, more than just a run through the bushveld. Even before this one, where the bushman people used to sharpen their arrows, you'll see the grooves in the in the rocks. So it's a time history from from Stone Age to Iron Age to modern age, you know, just layers over each other. This area. Um, has a long lineage of people running across this landscape, um, whether it be traders, trackers, hunters, people moving across to the coast to, to trade with, with Arabs. And so as runners, we have come and joined part of that long lineage. Pure and perhaps even at times primal experience. Um, and yeah, certainly very powerful, a real privilege. <laughs> no. I think a bit of a moment here, sitting here, yeah, lying on the hands, eh? sand in Botswana, <laughs> looking across to South Africa, having run 35 k's on my third Zambezi. It's good. Life is good. The camp has its additions, obviously the normal standard bar. Between five and six we have the gin bar up on top of the kopi. It's kind of the most authentic and the most closest to nature experience you can get. I mean, guys heard lion roar at 4 a.m. this morning. You hear the sounds, you hear the noises, you feel the wind. It's, it's a special experience as opposed to this normal, you know, concrete world we live in. Each day we, we kind of like get closer to each other and talk more and bond more. So, okay. so by the end of the three days, I'm sure we'll have made good friends. Running into elephants, giraffe, wildebeest, it's just been amazing here. Yeah. Supposed to be running, but we've walked. We saw an elephant, saw a giraffe, hugged a tree, danced, crossed a river, and that's all before breakfast. That is just truly unbeatable. On foot with the elephant, on the run. Unbeatable. I was a bit scared. <laughs> I've never run where. I could just uh, came across elephants and lions, but it was a nice experience because it just uh, raised your feelings and <laughs> emotions. So often transfrontier conservation takes place at a, a ministerial or a technical team level, and you don't actually see it being implemented on the ground. And what we've seen over the last three days has been real transfrontier conservation and cooperation. It's been absolutely phenomenal to see the way everybody has come together to really make um, this work. This is amazing. I mean, to find, come on a little island in the middle of nowhere and see these officials and wander up the hill and then actually enter a country like this is just amazing. I, I really like the idea of when it says a uh, mode of travel, you don't have to put your car registration or your flight number, you go run. And then the impact that this event makes in this area, you know, we've, we've, we're employing local, we're, we're using as much local resource as possible from the area. We've grown our vegetables from the Shashi Irrigation Project 20 kilometers away. That whole environment is, is something that's going to activate this camp, which has never been used in, in five years. This event is, is a small seed in a, in a much bigger picture. A lot of people who are with them right now, they are so lovely. We are brothers and sisters. 
nowhere else in the world you can run and stop and watch elephants and run on elephant trails. There's nowhere else in the world, so this is it. And then the three countries and, and the cultural aspect and then the rich heritage here. I mean, Mapambukwe is one of the oldest uh, known civilizations you know, in the Southern Hemisphere. So that, uh, that creates a, a very, very powerful picture. It's, it's, it's electrifying. It brings out all your senses and, and photographs can only show so much, but you really have to be here to, to experience what this is about and how powerful this is. As, as you can see me now, I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling free. Uh, I'm, I'm home. I'm with my, my, my friends my, we're, we're from South Africa, Zimbabwe, Botswana. And uh, you see, it's a, it's a lovely thing. Because if you, Botswana, South Africa and Zimbabwe can maintain this thing, we, uh, this, this place will grow huge, man. We are going to benefit a lot with the surrounding people.